Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Arena of the Planeswalkers. We are having Nyssa, played by us, or me, versus Liliana, played by me as well, but you don't know what her cards are. One correction from last episode, uh, Liliana moved away from here, I left a note. Uh, she should have taken a disengagement attack from the elemental. So we're going to roll, all you do is roll one die. If it's a sword, she takes damage. If it isn't, well, then she doesn't. It's a sword, so she will take one damage for moving away. That's going to put four damage on her. Four of seven health. She only has three life remaining. And then we'll win the game if we can kill her off. Okay, up uh, my turn, Liliana. And so the two cards we have are Moonlight Hunt. Deal X damage to target creature where X is the number of figures with transform adjacent to the creature. X can't be greater than four. And Primeval Light, destroy all face up and face down enchantments. We don't want to do that because we have enchantments on our creatures. All right, I think we need to activate one of our squads. I think we're going to activate our two guys over here. They are the uh, Keswick Rangers. Now they have a movement that will be seven because we're sitting on the plus two movement space. Uh, so these guys can move seven. So I have a plan for them, which I think should work out nicely. Uh, or is that even going to work? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, they can't get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to stay right there. He can shoot and see, I'm pretty sure. We look, oh, maybe not. Maybe this guy's blocking him, but we can move our own figures. So this guy's going to turn sideways, so he's got a clear line of sight. You're not allowed, uh, enemies aren't allowed to, to rearrange their units <clears throat> orientation, but you can do your own. Yeah, at least that's how I'm ruling it. <laughs> so this guy's going to be able to shoot. This guy can also move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, or do we want to go there? No, we probably don't. What is their range? Five. One, two, three, four, five. I think he might take a shot at if he can see that guy. Yeah, I don't know. This guy here blocks him. So he's not going to be able to see him. Um, but we're moving them up anyway. But obviously this guy can shoot at this guy here. <clears throat> so we're going to have both of these rangers attacking the one cultist here. And let's see what we get with that. They have three attack dice, and the cultist has... How many defense dice do the cultist have? One. So this is pretty good. Well, we don't have to do them at the same time. We're going to have this one attack this one. So three attack. One hit. And the cultist only has one defense. And he does defend, so he takes no damage. The next ranger is going to do one attack. <laughs> only gets one hit and defends it. Wow! That is one slippery cultist. Didn't take any damage at all. And at the end of the turn, we are going to have our Keswick Rangers turn into Ravagers. So this guy will be replaced with his werewolf uh, counterpart, and she will also be replaced with her werewolf counterpart. And that is going to be... Oh, we didn't draw a card, did we? was pretty dumb. The card we should have drawn at the beginning of our turn probably would have helped us. Uh, sheltering Word. Remove one damage marker from each creature of a friendly squad. That squad gets disengaged until the end of the turn. Disengage a figure with disengage doesn't take leaving engagement attacks. So that's what we have. I was too busy focusing on this but I couldn't get those guys in range anyway but maybe next turn I will be able to. Okay, that's, uh, well, we didn't do anything there. That was pretty ineffective. So now it's over to Liliana, and she gets to draw a card. And so she draws a card. Okay. And, yeah, she's looking at her cards. And what is she going to play for cards? Anything? She is going to play one of her cards. She can play up to three cards and she's going to play this one. Target opponent discards a card at random. So she's targeting us with a sorcery. We have to discard a card at random. Darn, we've got good cards too. So I don't know. We'll just give these a little quick shuffle here and we have to discard 
Oh, darn it. Moonlight Hunt. Damn, that's where we get the uh, assigned damage. But, tough. She did the brain suck on us, and we lost that ability. Hmm. All right, now Liliana has to choose an army card. She can still play two more spell cards if she wants. And <clears throat> So what is she going to choose? Wow, I don't know. I think she's going to choose her cultists, because these guys are insane. And they get to uh, cause... We can put one wound on one cultist, giving all the other, giving all cultists plus one attack die. They already attack with three. So we're going to wound this guy back here. Uh, so I'll put these, these little red wound markers, which of course on black are just about impossible to see. Uh -huh, but we'll put one on there anyway, see if we can remember that. So he's taking one wound. These guys only have two hit points. And now they get to move, and then they get to attack. And so if these two guys really don't want to move because they're going to take disengagement attacks, but this guy here is going to move one and two. And I think he's going to attack this archer because these ranged guys are pretty darn annoying. Even though it would be nice to kill off these guys too, but these guys have a lot of defense dice now that they're in wolf form. Whereas the archers only have one defense die. All right, the cultists are going to be rolling four dice for their attack. So this cultist is attacking this ranger and rolls two hits. And the ranger only has one defense die. Blocks one. So the ranger is going to take one damage. They have three health. So he takes one damage of three. Now we're going to have uh, the wounded guy attacking this Elf Ranger. Now this Elf Ranger is going to get plus one defense die because he's up high. So we're going to get four attack dice, two hits, and Elf Ranger gets two defense and only blocks one of them. So that's one damage. And the this cultist will attack the same Elf Ranger and he's going to get two defense dice again as well. So only one hit. Come on, let's block it. No block, so he takes another damage. He's on death's door, but he's still kicking. All right, that's pretty good for us. So Liliana did some damage to us there. Uh, and so let me... Uh, I'm going to shut the camera off here and do a little bit of thinking as to what we want to do. And then, of course, up next we're going to have Liliana going for a second time this episode. All right. Nissa up next. I think Nissa's got the best team, but anyway, that's just me being prejudiced. Uh, primeval Light we have. Destroy all face-up and face-down enchantments. We don't want to worry about that yet. We have this uh, sl uh, sheltering word. Remove two da uh, one damage marker from each creature in a friendly squad. That squad gets disengaged till the end of the turn. This will be the perfect card to play on our rangers right now. But let's see what other card we get. We get... Titanic Growth. Sorcery, a creature you control, a creature you control within six clear sight spaces of a green planeswalker you control gets three plus three attack till the end of the turn. Within six, eh? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is, this is, yeah. I think we may have just won this game here, but uh, I don't know. Again, I'm not familiar with all the cards and everything, but we have got some pretty awesome card abilities here at the moment. And so let's uh, let's try and gun down Liliana. She only has three health left. So we're going to start by playing this one, Sheltering Word. Remove one damage marker from each creature in a friendly squad. That squad gets disengaged until the end of turn. Disengage a figure or disengage. Doesn't take leaving engagement attacks. So that's just pure awesome. So yes, we're going to do our uh, elven archer or elven rangers here. So they're going to lose one wound each. So this guy had two wounds on it. He's only going to have one wound. And the other one here was wounded once. He has no wounds. And they do not take uh, disengagement attacks. So they can move. We're at plus two move. Uh, they can move all kinds of spaces. How much can they move? They can move five, six, seven. This guy here is going to go one, two, three to the corner here. He's going to be shooting straight at Liliana. And this guy here is going to go one, two up here, giving him, oh my god, plus 
one attack. So all of our characters now plus two move, plus one attack. Oh yeah, this. I think it's game over. I don't know. And we're also going to play our second card, and it's going to be a creature you control within six clear sight spaces of a green planeswalker. You gets plus three attack till the end of the turn. Well, we're picking this guy. One, two, three, four, five away. He gets plus three attack. So, you know what? I have a feeling we should be able to kill Liliana. All right, let's do it first. This ranger here is going to attack. He has three attack dice to attack with. Liliana has, um, she only has three defense. Wow. Okay, let's try that. Uh, only one hit. Well, and she has three defense. She blocks it, so she takes no damage from this Elf Ranger. However, this Elf Ranger is super pumped up. He gets three attack dice, plus one for elevation is four attack dice, plus three because of the titanic growth, giving him two, four, six, seven attack dice. And yes, he can see right through there towards Liliana. And this could be it. Uh, and, or can he see Liliana? Yeah, he can see her head, and that's that's the... It's from his perspective of his head to her head, yeah. Unfortunately, those guys in front don't block her. So here we go, seven attack dice. Wow, she only has three defense and three health left. Let's see what happens. Well, that's four hits. Four hits against Liliana. She has to block, I think, two of them, or she's going to be killed... Uh, yeah, if she doesn't block two of them, she's dead. She doesn't block any of them. And so, wow, that was a quick game. Liliana is skewered by the Titanic Archer. And that very quickly is going to conclude this playthrough of Magic the Gathering Arena of the Planeswalkers. Wow, I thought it was going to last a little bit longer than this. But uh, I can see the the value of ranged units in this game for sure uh, because our planeswalker uh, sniped off Liliana early giving her three damage and I mean these elven archer guys were pretty awesome and the uh, undead team seemed to have a lot of melee uh, units didn't I don't think no they had no ranged units at all except for Liliana herself so, uh, again, in picking your teams and stuff, maybe I didn't do the best job. I also put a river across here when I built the board, uh, which I think gave the ranged units another bonus. Uh, because when you move into a water space, you have to stop movement. So melee units can't just uh, scream across the board and uh, do and get in, up into your face. So, well, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a quick game. Uh, it's not too complicated you have to remember all the rules on the cards and and abilities and things which can be a little bit taxing um my honest opinion i think hero scape uh is a little bit better game but of course you can't get that anymore it's just so long out of print it will never come back and uh, costs a fortune if you try to pick it up so this is a pretty good replacement for it uh, you know, it's not perfect, but it's it's a quick little skirmish game that can uh, give you a few, a couple hours or so of entertainment if you're into this kind of thing. And you can see how very simple it is for the attacking, defending. It's just really quick dice rolling. Uh, and there you have it. So not much more I could say except uh, thanks so much for watching along on this playthrough. I hope it gave you a little bit of indication of how the game plays and the components. Of course, these are um, HeroScape landscape pieces. I didn't use little cardboard chintzy things that came with this one, and so you didn't get to see them. But anyway, once more, thanks so much for subscriptions and comments and likes on my videos. I really do appreciate it. And so this was very quickly Magic the Gathering, Arena of the Planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, those ranged units just sniped off Liliana before she could really uh, bring her melee units to bear. So, again, thanks so much for watching along, and you'll be joining me next time on another board, card, or dice game playthrough. That's what I do on my channel. I go from beginning to end of a game, and uh, there you have it. So, once again, I keep saying it. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching along, and we'll see you in the next series.